have new details about a crash involving a tractor trailer carrying an acid and three vehicles on Oaks Highway. One person was killed in the crash. The St. Elmo residents were allowed back into their homes after they were forced to evacuate this morning. Chattanooga police say that this morning an 18-wheeler was coming down the mountain when it hit three other vehicles who were coming up the mountain. Nearby homes were evacuated while crews identified the liquid that was the tanker was carrying. You can't expect Ox Highway to be closed up to 24 hours uh, for um, transferring what is on the truck to another truck. Uh, the investigation into the crash to determine the cause and then recovery of the vehicle and, and to clean the scene up. The Chattanooga Fire Department says they confirmed that it was not leaking and it has been removed from the scene. An Marion County teacher is facing statutory rape charges. Superintendent Mark Griffith says that he terminated the Whitwell High teacher Joseph Smith when he received word that the rape charges were pending against the teacher. And a home on Wesley Drive in Hickson was destroyed by an early morning house fire. At around 2.30, Dallas Bay Volunteer Fire Department responded to the house fire, and they say that the second floor was engulfed in flames. Firefighters say they were forced to battle the flames from the outside of the building due to its instability. Luckily, no one in that home was, no one was in that home, and the cause of the fire is under investigation by the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. A man is behind bars facing several charges after leading the Tennessee Highway Patrol on a chase in Chattanooga Friday night. The Tennessee Highway Patrol says that 30-year-old Jonathan Henderson fled and led troops on a 13-minute pursuit in a stolen car in Chattanooga. The trooper says Henderson ignored all traffic signals, signs, and lights during that time, but was eventually caught after crashing into a parked car. He has been booked in the Hamilton County Jail. Last night, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office arrested two wanted fugitives in Chattanooga. Nicholas Lester Hanks, charged with aggravated burglary, and Jamie Terrell Jones, charged with domestic assault. Jamie Walters was also taken into custody, charged as an accessory. Hanks, Jones, and Walters were traveling together in a vehicle at the time of the arrest. And the Johnson City Police Department says that a murder investigation they are working on has ties to Chattanooga. Investigators think the suspect may be in this area. Jordan Moore has a plea for answers from Johnson City. Within a matter of hours, the crime scene tape was gone, and then it was just weeks before the flowers and candles were no longer sitting in the driveway. But what hasn't gone away is the memory of a young mother, 22-year-old Rebecca Thompson, gunned down in front of her own child. How her child will be and her and as Washington County Constable John Phillips looked out at the very spot where that murder happened. But nobody will forget until, and hopefully that they can solve this. Phillips was just one of two Washington County Constables we first introduced you to just weeks after the murder happened. You're not going to be able to just come into town and willy-nilly shoot our citizens. We will catch you and convict you. Donating money out of their own pockets to help catch Thompson's killer. A reward that's now reached nearly $3,000. If someone else would like to contribute, because the better the reward, I think the better the chances of helping someone come forward. The police department, any police department, they're only as good as the citizens who, who assist us. Um, they're the ones that has the answers. And that search for answers is one Sergeant Don Shepard said they won't give up on. We've interviewed a lot of people and uh, we're getting some good information and we're getting some information that we just can't cooperate. The investigation continues uh, from this day forward. Uh, it's something that several detectives are continuously working on. We, we want to get this right. We want to, uh, to make sure that whoever is responsible or whoever is responsible for this uh, crime is brought to justice. Jordan Moore, News Channel 11, in your corner. And anyone with information about the shooting of this young mother in Johnson City is asked to call the Chattanooga Police Department or Johnson City's Crime Stoppers. And their number is on our website, WDEF.com. And a group of volunteers met at Ridgeland High School to give out food and so much more to families in this community. The Chattanooga Area Food Bank partnered with Rock Bridge Community Church to provide food boxes for anyone who needs them. They loaded up these little red wagons with food and also gave them information about affordable health care options if they needed those as well. However, volunteers say that it was much about much more than just food. And when we get to the parking lot, we pray with them. We ask permission if we can pray with them. We ask them specifically what they want us to pray about, and we pray with them. So 
We want to do more than just put food in their hands. We want them to experience Christ's love. The volunteers also made sure that they walked the families to their cars. They say that they make the most out of the time with them, and they just want to know they want to get to know them. The Chattanooga Chinese Association celebrated the Chinese New Year today with a spring potluck and festival. Traditional dances and songs were performed. This event was held at the North River Civic Center. Members of the organization say it is important to educate others about this fun part of their culture. It's uh, important for them to know what it's like of Chinese New Year. It's, it's different from Christmas, it's different uh, from like... Uh, some others, uh, Halloween or whatever, uh, get some, you know, first ex first hand experience. Yeah. They were able to learn about traditional Chinese food and enjoy some as well. If you missed out on this fun, this group will be at the Asian Food Store on Hickson Pike tomorrow at 11:15.